Hey you guys, welcome to my channel. It's Fergie Blog here. I have my VIB Rouge haul. Mm -hmm. I put in an order online and I popped into the store on the last day and I spent my money and then I always regret it. I'm always like, why did I buy this? And then I'm thinking, and actually I didn't get anything very extravagant. What kills me is I'll look at my box, like I'll be like, oh, I'm so excited for my Sephora order. And then I look inside when it comes and there's like three things and a sample. And I'm like, really? That's it? And I spent like $100? Anyway, anyhow, I am not going to spend my money at Sephora. I'm going to go to Ulta. I'm going to go to Nordstrom. And then lo and behold, they put 20% off. And I want stuff like... Um, I want Fenty and things like that that, you know, you can't get anywhere else, so. I got a couple things that I've been really wanting to get and then kind of either forgetting or putting off, and one of those is the Clinique Moisture Surge Face Spray. This is just such a good moisturizer, hydrator that sprays on. It is highly rated, rated on Beautypedia. I've always had good luck with it. I've only had it in a travel size, and so I keep that bottle in my purse, and then I thought, I'm going to use this to refill it. Sometimes um, I need something on my face to hydrate it, and I don't want just a, another shot of setting spray, even though my setting sprays don't have alcohol and they're pretty good, um, including like the Hangover uh, Too Faced one. But this one is just like, it's really good, especially in winter, whole oh, man. So it's 4.2 ounces. I don't remember how much it was. It doesn't have any fragrance, of course, because it's Clinique and the sprayer is really good. I hope. So yay for that and then the other thing that I've always just had in sample version is this Clinique take the day off this is that cleansing balm and I um, got the small one because I was feeling cheap right and it is I know elf makes one or at least they used to that was pretty good um, and this one what I love about it is that you you know it feels like Crisco <laughs> and you rub it on your face but then it's water soluble so it really just kind of dissolves the makeup and it rinses away and then I continue to I wash my face again um, with a different cleanser or something more foaming or emulsifying um, this is like a this is a makeup remover I would not rely on this solely to wash your face otherwise you'll probably experience breakout one because it leaves a residue behind too um, I don't think it's gonna get everything off the first time. So there you go. But yeah, I like this. Oh, did I get a, I think I got a sample. Wow, Clinique. Got my Clinique girl uh, from 30 years, almost 30 years ago. I was 20. No, let's say 22 years ago. 24 years ago. Okay. That was the Clinique girl. Oh my god! Um, this is their high impact mascara. It's good. It was a hundred point perk. Um, I always like to try other mascaras, even though I have tried that and I like it. I like mascaras. Speaking of, um, I got the It Lash Blowout Mascara. That is a partner with Dry Bar Salon Volume Lift. Raise your hand if you think it's just a gimmick and marketing technique. I mean, right, I love dry bar and I love it. So let's see what it's going to be like. Lash volumizing microsphere brush. Blowout volume, blowout lift, blowout drama. I mean, okay. The, the wand, um, the packaging looks like a mini curling iron. Oh my God. Well, you know, one of those little curling brushes. God, that's so cute. God. It'd be like if I was 10 and I had an American Girl doll, I'd be like, Mom, can I have your mascara tube when you're done <laughs> so I could play hair salon? I'm not sure if this is anything like, ooh, look at that. It's going to really make a difference. So the proof will be in the pudding, as the English say. 
um, or you know I'll just try it let me know if you want a dedicated video or if I just uh, let you know casually if like I get ready 19 times volume okay okay um, I got the Go Big or Go Home from Kat Von D. Nobody talks about this. This I bought in the um, in the section, the mini section by the cash register. This has a huge brush, or you know, relatively huge. It's got a super fibrous C formula. Um, you know, it's vegan, cruelty free, right? Everybody has their opinions on Kat Von D, but I feel like at least her products are nice to animals. So um, I'm, I'm really interested. I, I love the before and after on the package, but I don't know. We'll see. I mean, I love that. I almost bought a full size of the Too Faced Damn Girl. Um, I'm a little on the fence with that one because I love it, but it is almost too thick and clumpy, <laughs> which like, wow, that says a lot because this is your thick and clumpy girl right here. I want a dramatic mascara. So I talked about this on my Instagram. I cheated and I tried this out. This is, um, I got this, I think like the first day of, when did I get This is the new Fenty um, Hydrating Longwear Foundation and it's really good. So I love the original Fenty, uh, the Pro Matte Filter Foundation. That is a beautiful foundation. This is a, more hydrating, less matte. I find it to be um, very comfortable on the skin, not terribly dewy, good coverage, wears well. My only problem is it has a very heavy vanilla scent. The Fenty products are scented. Um, it's kind of a signature scent, kind of like a cocoa butter or vanilla sort of flavor. flavor you know what I mean? And um, it's like, it's yummy, it's good, but of the products, a lot of times products uh, make up scents like, you know, peach this or um, chocolate that, they fade, this one lingers. So I just, you know, but it's good. I got shade 190, I'll let you see it. I have 150 in the matte. So here's the 190. It's it's a lovely product. Um, I was torn. I wanted to get either the Smashbox uh, new one, the Laura Mercier new formulated tinted moisturizer, or this one, and I picked this one. So yeah, full review to come. Another Fenty product is this guy right here. Um, I've noticed that a lot of my bronzers and contour products are drugstore, and I love them. I have a Kat Von D Shade and Light contour palette, um, which I think I bought at Marshall's, and I have the cream one too. I have both cream and powder, and I think I bought them. Oh, maybe I don't. Okay, I don't know. Anyway, this is the Lil Bronze Duo Mini Bronzer Set. Sunstalker Instant Warmth Bronzer and Matchsticks in Shimmer. So I wanted to get one of the contour sticks, um, but I didn't. And then I was like, should I get the cream bronzer from Huda Beauty? And then I didn't. I was overwhelmed. I didn't know what to do. So <laughs> the contour, or this one, the stick is called Sin Amen. Let's put it on the inside of my wrist. Oh, that is so pretty. That is not a contour uh, stick, but does this not smell? Really, guys? You're gonna load up that fragrance on the, okay. So this is just really pretty. I think that would look pretty on the eyes, too. Um, it might be a little dark for me. I don't know. Then, this is the bronzer. I did return, I had a long time ago, I got the Fenty powder. That's something else that's so heavily scented, you guys. Nice powder, but get the hourglass one instead. Look at this, this is so cute. So Shady Biz, this is kind of a, a matte bronzer. 
very pretty. Oh yeah, that is so pretty. I wanted the Marc Jacobs bronzer, uh, and then I think I compromised and got this little guy, which is funny. Marc Jacobs bronzer, Fenty Mini. Well, I haven't bought some. I haven't bought a Jouer product in a while, right? I mean, I'm super like woo Jouer, and I haven't bought anything in a while. For they have had a few launches, and I did not partake. But I decided to get the Soft Focus Hydrate and Set Powder. Again, I'm going to give you my thought process on this. This is $30, and I almost bought the Loose Magic Setting Powder from Charlotte Tilbury. I love the airbrush powder, the compact. Um, the When I tested the loose powder of the Charlotte Tilbury, there is a sheen. So it has like this soft, iridescent, I mean, uh, it's not like a highlighter, it's not that iridescent, but I rub it on the inside of my hand and it has, it's not flat. It has kind of this, this gleam to it and it's so pretty and I think it's $46. And then I saw this, and you guys, I have to say, I know people have been talking great things about this um, Jouer Press Powder. Um, it's a Soft Focus Hydrate and Set Powder, and it is really, really so pretty. One, I love a textured kind of embossed product. Cute. Um, so this is Shade Light. And I think someone said it might be dark, but I use a brush. I use like a soft brush. Maybe if you took a puff and um, wiped it over it and, and spread it on your face that way, it might be too dark. But the uh, pale or fair, I can't remember what the shade lighter than this is called, looked really light. Um, so this, when I just kind of Gla glazed it, you know, um, ran it over my fingers, and then I do that thing where I rub it in the palm of my hand, and if it exaggerates my hand lines, like the creases in the palm of my hand, then I'm like, oh, that's kind of a dry powder, but if it smooths them and it doesn't fill in the cracks, then I'm like, this is good, and so it is. It's got like a nice sheen to it. So I'm looking forward to that. And then the other one, and I tried this already, I posted it on my Instagram stories because I was pretty surprised that it looked like it did. I was very impressed. This is the Jouer. This is the Lip Enhancer Shine Balm. I have been a fan of the Jouer Lip Enhancer for so long. It's just like a treatment, comes in a squeeze tube. I would wear it at night. Um, I got one in like a birch box 10 years ago and I've just loved it. This is the shade um, Amaryllis, and I always thought this was gonna be too kind of yellow, too sort of, I don't know, but it's pretty perfect. It reminds me of a more sheer version. See how it's kind of sheer? But when it goes on, I'm not gonna even see it over. I'm actually wearing um, a Jouer lip topper. Um, it looks like just a really nice nude. It looks like the Charlotte Tilbury JK Magic. Yeah, on my lips anyway, because I have pigmented lips. Anyway, so it's pretty. So I need another concealer, like I need a hole in the head. That's such an awful thing to say. Um, I have so many concealers, drugstore, especially drugstore. I've reviewed several of them for you, and I like them. And then I continue to buy more because I know that that is your pledge to is how can I find another concealer <laughs> to clutter my vanity <laughs> and to also amuse the interior, the the internal vanity that I have within me. Um, I got the Natasha Denona, the matte concealer. This, I remember when this first came out, Wayne Goss like flipped his shit over this. He loved it. I got shade five. Um, I swatched them. So this is supposed to be the right shade. Um, it is amazingly full coverage. Here's the shade so you can see it for yourself. The four was like a little bit too light and the five was just um, 
or was it too yellow? I can't remember, but um, okay. So coverage, good. Then you blend it out and it sets. Like I'm telling you, do not powder this. Just let it go because it was on my hand. Like I'm like, whoa, that is, that is set. So I cannot wait to see if it's going to do a really great job of just covering the dark circles and staying put, you know, giving a nice coverage to that area. Um, and that's that, or is it going to get kind of dry or crepey or, you know, what's going to happen. So I will let you know, I will either review it or we'll do a wear test for you. We'll see. So, but I was, it was this one or the Giorgio Armani one. And this one was super. So. Well, there you go. Let me know if you've got, you tried something amazingly stellar that you can't live without from your Sephora purchase. And then I'll purchase it next time. <laughs> when are they going to do this again for us? November? Before that? All right. Well, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like a haul, give that thumbs up a press. And I hope you subscribe and join me next time. And I'll see you then. Bye.